Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 with the Empire of Anglia. Now we're probably one of the most powerful empires in the land. Damascus, they're still strong. They We could take them on one-on-one -on -one, though. The Byzantine Empire is breaking slowly and there's this Borjkin which still have a lot of special troops and they will still have the special soldiers as they go forward. They have a few internal wars every once in a while, but it seems like he's taken care of uh, the situation pretty well. We're still far away to interact with some of these, but we're going to get closer and closer by the day. And I'm still happy that we got to take over the kingdom of Jerusalem and there's someone from our family sitting on the throne as the queen of Jerusalem. That is absolutely amazing. Really looking forward to see how we can make an impact in the area. Uh, at the end of the episode, we reach a stress level of one. So we need to do a bit of a party. We will go on a hunt first of all, while we gather some money as well. We have 3000 points already. so. I was thinking about going this constant care and getting dynasty opinion plus 5 will improve the relations between our family. Personal scheme success chance it's also plus 30% against dynasty members. Uh, which is good and who knows if this this might also increase the chances that they'll get assassinated. And or we could go this this way. The powerful vassal opinion is good. Graceful aging could be awesome. Increase skill with age. You know what? Let's go that. Let's become this great uh, well-known old guys. The bear. My daughter Marine is the first to see it. The powerful bear is hard to distinguish from its surroundings, but it is observing us through the undergrowth. I lock eyes with the animal and it is almost as if I can it can sense my intention, for it silently takes off. We ride. We can ask for gold from the head of fate, let's just do that. We follow the bear on its flight through the ravine and suddenly Marine's horse loses its footing and sends her to the ground, screaming. It's nothing fatal, but the unlanded is twisting in pain. We press on. Shall we press on? Our marine must be given time to recover. You know, we have a pretty good reputation here. Let's press on. What other titles can be created? Kingdom of England, I don't want that. Kingdom of Sami, it's here. And that's all the kingdom titles that we can create. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll... Let's create this title. Why not? Give us an opportunity to take the territory. As the bear disappears into the farmlands, I know that the quarry is lost. It is regrettable that Marina had to be injured over an escaped bear, but such risks are part of the thrill. Next time we'll get it. And this title we can give it to... Our nephew? A known criminal? Yeah, maybe not. But he's a, this guy is a member of our family. Pretty good steward. Let's make him a king. One of the reasons why I wanted to do that, to create this title, is because we have a decision here. What is it? Decisions. We've gained novice hunter. That is pretty good. For novice hunter gives us more stress loss. Here, increased development in county efficiency, scholarly circles, profit. Profit, what does it do? Fate creation and reformation costs reduced. Not really. I guess we'll go on this side. For the moment. Let's reduce the stress by having a party as well. 
pull the feast. You start the feast in middle CX. Let's see. Another of our friend has died. Okay. Definitely the right time to go and reduce our stress levels. Maybe it's about time we stop caring about our health as well. Prince Constantine can marry our son and friend. Well, has a few claims. A claims? This one is a claim on the county of Thessalia. Despotate of Hellas. You know what, my son? Go ahead and do this. As we might be able to press our claims and get to Hellas. A cheery gathering. The guests are gathering in the great halls from near and far. Friendly exchanges. Okay, that is pretty good. How old are we? 62? And we are ailing. We might not be around for long at this point. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Great. Will we be able to declare war here? Not yet. The feast is dwindling down and I find myself in deep conversation with my spy master. Yeah, it's a subject that fascinates me as well, let's say. Till death do us apart. How can a heart endure this kind of pain without breaking? It cannot be possible. Yet here I am, my heart beating on whilst yours has gone quiet. Oh, Edelford, my little fair brand. Life will not be the same without you. So our wife has died as well. It is such a joy to see my friend Countess Phil Hila. Okay, once again we eat, drink and sing together as if no time has passed since we parted. We could have been dining in a barn and this would still have been one of the greatest feasts I have ever been to. Reinvigorated friendship gained a huge health boost and a lot of stress loss. We are feeling fine now. As my guests depart, with everyone headed to their respective homes, I am proud to say that the feast was a success. Nevertheless, I am still grateful that the endeavor is over for now. We could look for a wife. Someone with a lot of what? Diplomacy? Shall we keep diplomacy up for a long while? She's 28. We're gonna lose some prestige here marrying her, but that's okay. Let's not go on a pilgrimage. She accepts. Let's ask her to convert. Okay, so there's some breaking happening around here. And some of our territories are involved as well. Before we die, your nephew King Redwolf has created a branch, Cadet Branch von Wickerode. Okay. Declare war on Leon. Seize the Emirate of Leon. Okay. They have 8,000 troops, which could be a bit of a pain. Holy war for the duchy. I guess going for the de jure is better. Let's declare war here. This shouldn't last too long. I am going to bring in our armies here. Let's see. Raise local army. Let's raise local army. So this will be the ones who will be doing the sieges, this will be the ones who will fight more than anything. Enemy ally joins war. Okay, so they have a few allies in the region. 
let's fight them there and I will be bringing this other army to siege yep nice we'll ca we're catching them too nice so that side that army is done holy order has been higher then we can hire them as well but we don't really need to and they're attacking us in these territories but they won't have enough troops to stop us we can call allies realm will lose land when vassal inherits foreign title this guy who you are not spineless empath so are you you are not married let's see can we arrange a marriage between him or can we not i guess we cannot really do that we can ransom this guy we will at some point Good mark and Mary, you are what? You are a bastard, illegitimate bastard of our family. And you are you are orthodox. He does not want to accept because he's zealous. Okay. Let's get you to marry into our family. Our dynasty matrilinearly. Sure. I'll gladly accept accept your marriage proposal. Okay, it seems like they're not saying that we will definitely win the battle there. So I feel like we should raise a few more troops, maybe not all of them. Okay, they're losing some troops there. Yeah, and this time we will win. Okay, and if we're getting in the planes then it doesn't matter anymore, we'll disband these troops. 50% war score. Yeah, let's continue this. And we'll speed it up too. Okay, once again, they're trying to besiege. They're trying to do what's best for them. I have discovered that Duke Olaf, um, yeah, let's increase the taxes there. Thirty command, look at that. Anything else? I guess we'll just besiege this region and that's about it. My lord, I think that young Siflet could learn a lot if she got the opportunity to study under your tutelage. Prince Edelor, daughter and heir postures before waving at us. Sure, I'll educate the girl. Why not? Like educating people. It's always a big place. In real life as well. Just the fact that you get opportunities. To the charming Emperor Baron Wolf of Anglia, I called on your honor to on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Gabeshi claim on the Emirate. Where is this? It's here. So this is our ally. Okay. And they're fighting these guys. Sure. Thing is. 
you'd better be able to... to carry this war until we arrive. Because it does take us a while to get to the sea and stuff. Okay, here we've won the war. And we have taken these territories for ourselves. We are going to disband these troops here. And we'll set a waypoint on this side. And raise local army. Good. Then we need to give these territories away. We have starting from Leon, I'm guessing. Yes, so we have four territories here. That we can grant them to someone. Our son and player heir. Could be a solution. Mm, any our son and knight. He doesn't have great stewardship. Let's see who has... This dude has 44 learning. 78. And he's a member of our dynasty even though he's not of our house. Member of our house. You know what? I really like you. So I'm going to give you all these four territories. There you have it. Make something really good out of it. How many troops does this guy have? 8,000? Okay. 9,000. Is it by allies? Yeah, no. Only one, I guess. So we'll need to gather all these units. Empty Marshal position. I guess he has died as well. Mm. Let's add our son and heir here. Go with train commanders. Let's see. Okay, the siege is going quite well there for them. And that will give them all the war score they need. So let's try to... Use these troops. Uh, let's not have our son and marshal be commander here, though. And we even forbid him to do that. Holy warrior, let's have that. And then I'm gonna bring troops over here. My daughter Maureen has given birth to a son. Since the little one is part of the East Anglia dynasty, he should be blessed with a good name. Hans, sure. Hmm. Okay. Let's try to get the capital back first of all. Now we'll slow down. Good. And now let's take care of the rest of the troops in the area. It's really amazing about this territory is the large plains. Which for our cavalry is absolutely amazing. Like these ones will just rush through, through your troops and destroy them. Okay. Uh, where are we besieging? Here? I guess we'll, we can stay here in the region and besiege these. Holy ordered higher, enemy combatant captured. Good, we took care of some of that. Let's go fight here again. Prisoners to be ransomed. Let's see. Do we want to ransom them or do we want to... Try to convert them. Let's see. Demand conversion. It works. You will ransom you. Conversion again. Sell. Let's demand conversion. 
this guy, what are you good at? Not nothing really. Gain hooks, demand conversions, same here. They have claims and they'll be of our religion, which will be perfect. Especially if we plan to make to have any kind of impact in Iberia. From all my evening watching stars, I've seen it with my own eyes what I've only heard of before. The stars move at different speeds and all that. And we can get I will find my answers in heaven, leadership, stewardship, learning, stewardship, and prestige. Sure, we'll do that. Turny troubles. Hmm. I've had enough of disaster, so a boring tourney, that's okay, we won't be spending any more time there. We have now a lot of learning, up to 30, which means that some of the things here should go quickly. We have a golden wraith now, because we are glorious. The next level is fabled. Our family has grown really strong. It is not the first time I've heard talk of what great servant Aubrey is, and now Duke Geoffrey has sent him to my court. He presents himself as a token of friendship between Geoffrey and me. He is good at learning, I guess. Welcome to my court, I guess. Do I want to fight with this guy again? I guess besieging the lands should be more than enough. As long as this guy doesn't do anything stupid and gets himself captured, then should be totally fine. Prisoners again. Demand conversion. Same thing. We're already creating some problems. Because there's a minus 40 for religion. So I am hoping by that by doing this will be creating will weaken the area for future. Okay, we'll do another another siege here. We still have some supplies. Uh, ransom this guy. We'll see later on. As the head of faith for gold, we'll do that, just so we can have enough for our son. We can usurp the title of Emirate of Leon and we'll do that and we will grant it to this guy let's see where is it you grant titles here it is the petty kingdom of Leon Let's give that to him. So how close are we? Does it show us? We can have a new university in Madrid if we're gonna increase the development. Dynasty of many, many crowns. We're still not there yet, but we will be in the near future. Strength and bloodline should be working uh, for us soon. And now we can actually start thinking about this goal, right? We need Byzantium. Um, this is part of Bavaria. Antiochia. Okay, this we could take. Completely control Jerusalem. I guess it's part of the kingdom of Jerusalem, but... I'm not sure, we'll see. Alexandria. Roma. So we have to go against a bunch of leaders. I'm not sure what fully control if they have to be under us. 
to do it ourselves? Hmm. We'll have to see. Let's see, if I take a look at Alexandria, is there, there are special buildings here. I'm guessing Jerusalem has some as well, the Dome of Rock. Antioch? Antioch has the Grand Cathedral. Holding taxes, development. Pretty cool overall. And Constantinople, or Byzantium as it's called here, Hagia Sophia, plenty of Antiodosian walls, it's plenty of buildings, of unique buildings all around the world, and here in Rome, just as an idea, we have the Colosseum, it seems. Building construction time minus 10%. Does it say the Colosseum is one of the largest amphitheaters ever built and has hosted countless spectacles such as gladiatorial combat, animal hunts, and even reconstructed sea battles? Its construction was started by the Roman Emperor Vespian in AD 72 and was completed in AD 80 under his successor Titus. Despite its vibrant history, its primary use today is for harvesting marble and bronze for use elsewhere. It's exactly what I've uh, learned while spending time in Rome. I spent a week and every day I walked throughout Rome, never took the bus, never took the metro or anything else, just walked everywhere. And yeah, unfortunately, that's the history. They've been using the marble and the stones uh, from the old temples to construct the new ones, right? Uh, I guess for us it's history, for them it was just material in the city. Already on walls. Cool stuff. Mm, anything else I am working towards here? Nope, just besieging this. Trying to get a bit more war score. Well, that's it. That should be it. We won this war for them. Go on a pilgrimage. I do not want to do that. We can ransom someone. You have some claims, I see. Negotiate release. He, we cannot demand because he's a landed ruler. Let's give him back then. A new daughter, Juliana, we'll leave it at that. Heir to inherit titles. We can transfer vassalage and we'll do that. We gain some stress because we are greedy, but that's totally fine. I don't want to control... What doesn't seem to be under us? Did we lose some territory here? Oh. I think we're about to take more, but I think we also lost some. Seize the Jur. Let's see. Let's take a bigger view at the area. Some claims. We can take this entire coast. Infant. Savaricus claim. Vassal in our realm. What does this do? Gain he gains the contested title. Becomes independent. Independent rules have no legion, thus enjoy greater freedom of action, declaring wars. However, unlike vassals, they can also be directly attacked by foreign rulers. He gets the Empire of Francia. He becomes our vassal. Because he's our vassal now. Hmm. We have to do it. 3600 cost. But we have to end the episode like this, and not only like this. Declare war, step one. Step two, 
Lose weight. <laughs> you have to live for long enough for us to finish this war. You have to. Step free. Is there anything else that we want to do here? You, do you want to convert and go home? No, he would not accept. I don't know. Stay there then. Um, let's tr take a look at promoting culture. Um, I know we can do this next time as well, but I don't want to forget after this. Let's see, middle CX is fine. Cologne is fine. Montpellier. I guess we'll work here then next. Here is religion. Here is our culture. And that's about it for this episode. So tomorrow when we come back we're gonna fight the Empire. We're gonna fight to take over the Empire of Francia. And they will become our vassal. Which also means they will become our biggest enemies for our son. But I think we can make this work. At least I am hoping that with enough money we, we will make this work. That's it for the moment. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and for supporting this everlasting series. Because it has been uh, many episodes now. If you have to include the first series as well. I'm guessing that we're getting closer to 100 episodes. We're about 90. So that's it for the moment. I wish you all a wonderful day ahead and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Until then, have a wonderful day.